Is the weakness exploit to talisman really one of the best talismans? Are having bad skills but good slots considered better? Today, let me go over how I would gauge how good a talisman really is. Hey there everyone, James here, welcoming you back for another Monster Hunter Tips. Before I begin, if you haven't yet, Hope you can extend your support by subscribing to my channel. Come on, do it. Lay it on right here, do it. Do it. It has been quite a blast these two months. And by now, we have a lot of talismans sitting in our equipment box. But how do we know if these are good or for rebirth melding? For that, we must look at these three things. Available slot on the talisman, level of the skills, and potential armor counterparts. So let's first talk about the available slots on the talisman. If you have noticed, when I do my builds on my channel, I would commonly ask for slots like 2 to one slots, and for more demanding builds, I would ask for 3 to one talismans. In my opinion, the slots are more important than the built-in skills. I will go over this a bit later in the video. The main reason is that most of the important skills today are easily crafted through decorations or jewels. So in most cases, the flexibility to change the jewel is more valuable than the built-in skill if they only have one level 1 or no slots at all. Now let's talk about skill levels. Majority of the important meta skills such as weakness exploit, critical boost, attack boost, and Master's Touch for Blade Masters, and skills like Spare Shot and Slugger may be valuable to Gunners. If you have a Talisman with at least two level 2 slots, you can add the decoration and sometimes, if you have support skills with it, even better. For example, my current Spare Shot Talisman has two level 1 slots. However, with my available Talisman with better slots, I virtually have more skills on it than just having the spare shot with two level 1 slots. So the next thing to look at are the armor piece counterparts. Some of the staple armors at the moment that you will commonly see on current builds since update 2 are Kaiser Crown, Sinister Gauntlets S, Valstrax Braces, Anjanath Coil S, and Ingot Greaves S. The common thing about these are that they have great skills built in in which they have more than 2 level 2 skills and have good slots. For example, the Valstrax Braces has built in Weakness Exploit 2 with 1 level 2 slot. So if you have a Weakness Exploit Talisman that has less than or equal to the skill level or slots, then in most cases, you probably shouldn't use the talisman and prioritize something else. Another situation is the Anjanath Coil S, which has attack boost 2 built in, but has insane slots. 1 level 2 and 2 level 1 slots. In most cases, if you only have an attack boost talisman with lesser slots and no secondary skills, then you are better off having a different talisman to fit in other important skills. So from my collection, what do I consider my best talismans? Rapid Fire Up 2 with 1 level 1 slot. No armor at the moment has Rapid Fire Up 2. The skill is a level 3 skill, and it has a slot. Attack Boost 3 with 2 level 1 slots. While it doesn't have better slots compared to its armor counterparts, I can sometimes fit in Attack Boost 7 onto sets. This has 3 level 2 skills, and it has extra 2 level 1 slots. Weakness Exploit 2 with 1 level 3 and 1 level 1 slot. This has better slots than the armor piece Valstrax Braces, so fitting in more skills is much more flexible. Agitator 3 with 1 level 3 and 1 level 1 slot. This has 3 level 2 skills with better slots than the Gosharag Greaves S, which has the same skill level. Evade Extender 1 and Steadiness 1 with 3, 2, and 1 slot. 
I use this in almost every build I have because Evade Extender is such a good quality of life skill even at level 1. For my gunner builds, I even have built in one level of steadiness. Evade Window 2 and Blight Resistance 1 with 3, 2, and 1 level 1 slot. Again, a good level 2 skill to have with great slots. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please let me know in the comments. I would appreciate it even more if you would like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Till my next video, catch you in my next hunts.